right, hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, got another Goose one for you. Uh, we're going to go through Wisteria Lane. Very fun song, uh, a lot of bar chords, a um, couple different shapes in there, uh, but great song, fun to play, fun to learn. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and dig into all that. Um, if you are new here, if there's your first video, you please consider subscribing, hit that bell for notifications. I uh, greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's hop in. So uh, for Wisteria Lane, uh, we start on this little little riff here. And uh, I believe they do that between four, four and eight times. Um, so what we're doing here, starting on this G, so third fret of that low E. Um, so you're going to hit that third fret there, that G. And slide to this uh, fifth fret here to get to your A minor. And the way I'm doing it, so I'm sliding and I'm doing kind of a, not a full strum, but kind of like a kind of a little poppy pop hit there. All right, uh, and there, uh, fifth fret here. Uh, fifth fret of the G, just sliding to the seventh, and then back up to our uh, to our C sus two, I believe. So we're, sorry, we're really not sliding back up. Really, just uh, and hopping into this chord here. Um, so I think you can play a C. Um, I think when I was watching uh, watching a video of him play it, it looked like he was playing this as opposed to as opposed to that. But they both sound very very similar. A little bit different, but very similar. Um, but anyway, so the C sus two, if you bar third fret here, uh, ring finger fifth fret of the uh, D, and pinky finger fifth fret of the G. Uh, you can also do you can do the hammer on instead of sliding. I think they might go back and forth between those. So Oops. yeah, I think you can do either one. Either one sounds sounds good. Okay, uh, so from there uh, we've got the verse chords or just two chords. Again, it's just our A minor. C sus two. Okay, so up next you have the bridge, which is um, it's just a D minor <laughs> um, the whole time, pretty much. You do that three times. And ending on a G. Um, so, again, they're just playing the D minor. Um, I think, you know, they're, I guess you'd consider them vamping on it. Um, so I don't have like a set, set way of playing it, but the way I was doing it is what I typically fall into when I'm playing it. So, um, again, typically starting with that root note here, uh, on that A string, maybe do some hammer ons and sometimes I'll just play that, uh, that fifth fret by itself as well. Something like that. Um, again, just that D minor. Just play around with it. Um, 
if you're not familiar with that chord, you're going to bar that 5th fret. Middle finger, 6th fret of the B. Uh, pinky, 7th of the G. And ring, 7th of the D. So that is your B minor. Uh, so you do that, like I said. Uh, then you end on this G here. Then you go back into the intro. Do that four more times. Uh, followed by uh, C sharp diminished, uh, maybe diminished seven. Um, I both love and hate uh, diminished chords. Um, it's a really cool sound. It just it, you know gives a nice transition. It adds something different to the song. Uh, but by their nature, at least for me, they are uh, they are just not natural. Um, I, I, I can move very easily, you know, between my A minors and all that stuff. Uh, these chords are just kind of a pain, um, but very cool once you get them down. Takes a little bit of practice here, so um, so you'll do that four times, and then you'll just come into that that uh, diminished chord there. Uh, so while we're playing that, uh, index finger is on the fourth fret of the A, middle finger is on the fifth of the D, ring is on the 5th of the B, and I've got my pinky here on the 6th of the G. Um, and it, if you haven't played the, that type of a shape before, um, it will take some getting used to going, you know, from one chord into it. Uh, so what I tend to do if I have a song where I have to learn, you know, that transition, I will just go back and forth between those chords until I can do it almost second nature, right? So kind of find what works for you there. Um, just practice it. You'll, you'll, you'll get it. You'll definitely get it. Okay, uh, after that, uh, that, that transition chord uh, will take us to the chorus, which is again D minor. <laughs> Does it even saying the chord? It doesn't roll off the tongue like the other ones do. And again, for that same same thing for practicing that, I I would highly recommend just going through that pass a bunch. Oh, see, <laughs> until you uh, until you get until you get to that uh, get there comfortably. Uh, so that's the first time to the chorus. Second time again, D minor. And this time we'll end on an F major seven. And I do believe that they, they may strum it. And then if you listen to this song, you'll definitely hear them kind of picking through it. Um, and from there, there's a short little break of this F major seven to an E minor 7, back to this F major 7, ending on a G, and then go back to the intro uh, verse. See, I 
still struggle with that transition, man. Thank you again very much for hanging out there with me. I greatly appreciate it. Hope this helped you guys out. If there's any feedback, comments below. And I'll see you guys again soon.